afternoon, everybody. It's 65 degrees. I think the polar vortex is over. Heading over to the grain bins. We're going to haul some corn. Got quite a bit of contracts to fill. And uh, had some stuff going this morning, so we're kind of getting a late start. We're going to start on today. And uh, hopefully, we can finish it up here in a couple of days. Looks like the man himself's here waiting on me. I don't see him loading yet, so must be some kind of problem. About time you showing up. Well, I don't see you getting much done. I've been working myself to the bone. Okay. Having some cord issues. We go through this every time we move this auger from one grain bin to the next. Kind of one thing we need to upgrade is get an actual loadout auger for over here or one for over at the other smaller grain bins. What we'd really like to do is run a conveyor or even a flat auger or something to connect all three of these grain bins together so we could load out up there the end of the Load out up there by the heated building would be ideal. Now we got everything moving. Sounds like my favorite part of when we load out. Let's see what kind of apparatus we add to bring up to keep the corn from bouncing out. It's always, uh, it's always pretty entertaining to see. I don't know if they're still harvesting or maybe they're going to try to clean up their combines while it's warm. Thought they got done when we did. While George is loading the first load out, me and Dad go over and get the other semi. It's still in storage. So get it out, bring it over here. He'll probably still be loading by the time I get back. You already had it running, didn't you? Working hard, ain't you? Working like a dog. We're getting ready to pull up. When we're loading out over here, what we usually do is form to make one pile in the center. Now, one thing that always happens, like right now, it looks like it's starting to fill up pretty quick. As soon as he moves, you won't even be able to see that corn hardly. So he'll wait a little bit longer. We'll make one pile in the center. We'll make one pile in the center of the back hopper. And then usually we'll pull up and let the auger clean out after that first center or last center pile. But usually that comes out to be an illegal load. Up, George, did you watch my uh, camping trip? Oh, yeah. What'd you think? That guy was right and made that one comment. Your dad knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> George's hardest part of this job, walking there to pull the truck up. I had to leave his comfy seat, put his feet down. So bad for it. I'm not saying this is an easy job. Well, yeah, I'm kind of saying this is an easy job. Especially on a day like today when it's uh, 65 and kind of... Yeah, kind of sunny. All right, with this auger that we're loading out with, it takes uh, 20 to 25 minutes since we get a load, so I'm going to use that time to clean out the cab of my truck, because I have not done that since harvest. Harvest kind of went a little late this year, rolled right into hunting season, so. I've still got hunting clothes in there. I've still got harvest clothes in there. <sighs> Time to clean that bad boy out. And it's warm, so it's a good day to do that. All right, we just got loaded. Heading out of here. George texted, or he called me and said there's quite a, quite a line of cargo, actually. My guess is no one else has been hauling uh, their January contracts like us because the weather's been so crappy. And uh, that's why there's line. So he said there's like three or four lines in there. Probably won't be a while. Well, the line's not moving too quick. It's pretty far back there, too. They don't close for another 40 minutes, so I'm sure more trucks are going to get here. This will definitely be the last load of that. I hope it's not like this tomorrow, but I had about bet that uh, not many people hauled their January contracts because the weather was so bad. I mean, it was either raining or it was really, really cold. So looks like everyone's trying to get it in while the sun's shining. Unfortunately, it's supposed to rain the next rest of the week. One hour later, still sitting in the same spot. Well, we are just now uh, weighing in. 
so this took uh, way longer than I was expecting. Like, I didn't think I was going to get another load in there by any means. I leave the farm to almost three. I wasn't expecting this. That's a pain in the butt. My moisture is 15.6. That probably just cost me 14 bushels for shrinkage. Finally heading out of that place. It's a little after 6 o'clock. Got there at 3 o'clock. Oh well, we'll bring them some more tomorrow. Well, a couple things happened while I was gone. Uh, apparently when George was going to load out, the bearing and the unload auger went out, the top bearing, so that's no good. And uh, we've got some corn that's not coming out of the bin very well. It's kind of troubling. Hopefully it's just fines, but either way, there's probably a hot spot in there that we need to get out of there. So, I don't know. Seems like there's always something when you're hauling corn. Like I said earlier, it's an easy job when everything's going right. It'll be a very frustrating job when everything's uh, falling apart. But uh, we'll probably finish this video tomorrow. Really wasn't a whole lot of stuff going on. So I ended up spending most of the day sitting in line. So let's go ahead and roll this into tomorrow's video. And hopefully everything goes a little bit smoother then. Morning everyone. Dad and I are getting ready to go up to a uh, equipment store to get a bearing to fix that auger. Uh, they're going to let us try out a belt conveyor. Which is something we've been uh, kicking around the notion of purchasing for those grain bins. So I guess we're going to pull it home and try it out. It's a used conveyor but it's similar to what we'd be purchasing if we were getting one. So. Uh, it's supposed to rain the rest of the day, so I don't know how much haul we're supposed to get. It's supposed to rain pretty hard at some point, so we'll just have to see. Uh, before we uh, go get the parts to fix this auger and to get that other auger, we're going to try to get the uh, bearing apart and get the race off of it. And uh, we'll use this loader to do that. I don't think it's going to work. He's going to grab a hold of it. He's going to grab a hold of it. Yeah. I think we're gonna need a torch. I think we need a torch. Well, that didn't work. I guess I haven't turned this camera on for a little while, but uh, we have kind of had a little detour. We are in Columbus. We're going to look at a semi. Yeah, hey, Bill. That was the first time I've ever drove an international and uh, we know that they have a bad rep and uh, all that good stuff but we also know that they can be fixed in one way or another but we are leaving without that truck for now um, it's a pretty good truck it's priced pretty pretty reasonable for what it was I think it had 400,000 miles on it but uh, like I said we're not in a huge hurry on truck Well, after all that, we didn't even bring the auger with us. It was single phase, and oh, it's pretty rough. So I guess we're just gonna go fix ours. Well, what a waste of a day. I guess we'll roll this one into uh, tomorrow's video. Make three days in one video. Well, as you can see, it's pretty wet around here. Um, this is three o'clock in the afternoon. It finally quit raining today. I kind of thought we were going to be able to run corn or haul corn, but uh, I mean, it's rained hard all day until now. Uh, me and Dad came over here to these grain bins. We were looking at some stuff. Figured we probably better check this this uh, water pump. Pumps out the leg pit, and it's a good thing we did. There's about three feet of water in there. So we pulled the pump out. It had a big old chunk of ice on it, preventing it from pumping, and we're hoping that the insides aren't froze up. But looks like we're going to take that pump apart. I think we found the problem. Yep, I'm going to freak it. to take it home or something else. Maybe not. Close. Oh, yep, she's gone. And this is how we wash out the U-trough. 
Not really. Normally we would vacuum that water out, but there's so much water in this thing right now, it doesn't matter. So we're just augering water across out of that side over to this side where we're pumping it out. But I'm glad we got that water taken care of, but now we're back over here. We're going to try to fix this auger while the, while the rain has stopped momentarily. Well, I noticed that uh, the other day I said we was going to need a torch. Hoping we can cut it off with the grinder. I don't know whether she's going to go or not. I don't have any ether with me either. But we finally have the bearing to fix this auger. This thing went out on Monday night, and this is Friday morning. So this week will never be uh, known as a productive week, that's for sure, or an efficient week. Um, it also dropped about, well, 30 degrees last night. Yesterday it was 50 degrees. It's raining, but it's 50. And now it is uh, 20 degrees. So it only makes sense that we do it while it's cold. Kind of having some issues with corn coming out. Intermediate seems to be froze shut too, so that's not good. Um, I don't know, we've got a hot spot. The corn's coming out, it's not hot. So there might just be, I, I don't know what's going on. This happens from time to time, but I wish it didn't happen now. It's been pretty much full. It's a lot easier to handle when it happens when you've called, you know, three quarters of the bin out. Oh, well, it's starting to speed up a little bit now. Uh, Dad and George are going to go get some uh, lunch down at the donut shop. I'm going to sit here and load trucks out. And uh, when they get back, me and George should be both loaded and ready to head to town. Must not be too busy in there because George was back before I was even done loading. As much as I complain about Cargill, they're very convenient. They're only, I didn't think they're 10 miles from the Great Pits. So if there's no lines, I mean, we can get Get trucks in out of pretty quick. It's a cornfield. River's pretty hot. We had a pit like this. Long, long enough you could unload both hoppers, crank the doors wide open. That truck in front of me just ducked, so it might be partially full still. So it's too nice at the house. A little bit too big probably for what we do. think of the trucks we've been looking at so far what do I think of them yeah well, not, the only ones, looked, not the ones in this book now I mean the ones I've actually only looked at one yeah but you know me you told me you told me or he told me he was talking about that red or the international well I think they're all great myself yeah or <laughs> anything will be fine with me when the camera was what no he said you know let's put it this way my hopes are not too good to be sitting in line next year looking looking nice looking good <laughs> looking, good looking, looking pretty <laughs> Oh, I'd be too lazy to take care of it anyway, so I don't blame him. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get a nice truck either. Hey, we are not having any luck getting this contract filled. Uh, Dad plugged the auger in. I looked down. And there was a flame shooting out of the uh, out of the cord and got a short somewhere, obviously, but it's melted the melted the two cords together. That was a little bit of wiring. <laughs> Well, it's uh, 3.30, so we're not going to get another load in there while this is broke down, so George is going on home. Just about got it rewired, but there's no sense in loading. This is Friday. We just got a text that Cargill is full on corn, not taking any corn until they get a train. Don't know when it's going to be. So, uh, 
We're not going to get any more corn hauled this week. Put that, grab that cord up, put it back in the truck. See there, the prodigal employee has returned after a, about a 30 day absence. All right, we got to make it panel to mount that box to. Uh, since we're not going to get any more corn all in there anyways today, we're just going to go home and do that. Hopefully it won't be as windy when we go to mount that back on there. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Um, I forgot to film the, uh, I forgot to do an exit, I guess, so do that now. Um, yeah, that's that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Brian's Farm Videos and Facebook at Brown Farms. Uh, if you want to continue to see videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, now for the tricky part. Back when, during the polar vortex, my door froze shut and I ripped the door handle off my pickup. I put a new one on, I put an aftermarket one on, and apparently it doesn't work because right now I am locked in my truck. So I have to climb across the passenger seat to get out of this darn thing. I'm six foot four. This is not the funnest thing I've done today. But I've done it a few times, so I'm getting some practice.